Today's creative world is fashion. And being a model, I'm sure maintaining your figure is very important. Yeah. How do you maintain your figure? Mental. Again, 90% of what I do is mental. So no matter if it's going to the gym once a week or going to making sure I don't eat that pizza before a show, whatever the case may be, you have to train yourself not not like certain things you have to kind of pull the string and tighten up on mm -hmm. and then i would say the other half of that is consistency like whatever it is that i do last week i make sure that i do this week um, i make sure that i hydrate sunscreen you know what i mean like i always you know certain things that you just have to do it. You have to tell yourself, yeah. I don't care about the excuse. I don't care if you have corona. Get up and go <laughs> to the gym. You know what I mean? So, wow. yeah. yeah. That's something I have to do with. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> I noticed you have such a great skin. Thank yeah. you. Do you do like any special treatment? I use CMOS. I use CMOS a lot. I'll CMOS. I'll intake it, like drink it, and then I'll also put it on my face as like a mask. Mm -hmm. Cmos yeah. have you ever heard yeah there's like a trend going yeah. around with yeah. like the cmos yeah. how's it's the amazing. taste i heard it's like very it's like gelatin without the jelly <laughs> <laughs> That's the don't think about it it's all mental girl <laughs> yeah. wow you have such a great mental thank you yeah. right yeah. i'm the oldest of 12 siblings too so i've always had to be like like train myself to do better you know i i'm uh, my mom she has three sets of twins so it's me and my brother and my brother and my brother and then my brother and my sister so there was six of us before i was even five years old so i had to make sure we cooked and make sure everyone went to bed on time and so now it's like I moved away from Jamaica, so a lot of my family is back there, and I'm only here to focus on me, you know? Mm -hmm. So I have, oh, I have to train myself, and make sure I do this, make sure I do that, clean up my car, you know, mm -hmm. certain things, like I have to be stubborn with myself. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have um, any future goals? As far as goals, I want to grace the international runways. Mm -hmm. I also would love to do a photo shoot with Grace Jones, if you see this. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, with this coming year, I just, signed up to be one of the delegates for the Miss Universe uh, pageant. Congratulations! Thank That's you! Exciting. And I've, I've never done pageantry before, but I'm interested in just representing my country. I want to show people that I'm from Jamaica now. Like I've established myself as a brand and as Tina Glaze, so now I just want to do something big to represent that I'm from Jamaica and that I'm here to I'm here to stay. I'm here to get a crown. <laughs> yeah. So the last question. So the title of our show is Creative World. What does the word creative mean to you? Bam. As far as my world, what does creativity mean to me is no limitations. Mm -hmm. um, we live a life where we have brothers and moms and dads influencing us. And, and even me, sometimes I hear girls who are 5'3", five, 5'4", five, on the runway like, oh, I'll never get picked for that designer because I'm not tall or I'm not skinny or whatever the case may be. That's where the mental come in. That's where the limitations come in. Do not set those limitations for yourself because you never know what doors are being fabricated for you. You know what I mean? Like, never limit yourself to a certain standard or to someone else's standard. Make sure you try first. If you try it and it doesn't work, then you can say, okay, this didn't work for me, but at least you try. I would say 90% of failing comes from not trying. You know what I mean? So, no limitations. <laughs> thank you for yeah. inspiring message. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Today we had an international supermodel, Tina Glaze. Thank you for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much you for so having much. me, guys. <laughs> Bye. This episode will be available on YouTube this coming Saturday. For details, please check out our Facebook page. Next, more exciting materials to show you all. Tradition is tasted, resplendent with grain. Ships of time slip through light. I'd hold this taste to feel forever. It pours a century of wisdom. It pours a generation of legacy. Sourced from a sacred mountain, it rises. How many ways can this taste dazzle in days? This taste lives forever. CW Challenge! Hello again. Hello. So we're here today with international supermodel, Miss Tina Glaze. Hi. 
So Haruka and I, we really want to learn how to like walk like a model, how to walk yes. elegantly with poise. So cool. we were hoping you could teach us today. I got you. I can totally do that. All right. So maybe we can show you our walks first, and then you could teach us where we can improve, maybe. Absolutely. Okay. Right. So we will try. Just so since my shoes is sneaker. Mm -hmm. ah. For you, I would say elongate your body as much mm -hmm. as possible, relax your shoulders, and when walking, keep your hands just above the knee. So don't sway them as much, just make sure they're relaxed and you're fresh, you're relaxed in the wrist, and then they will naturally kind of walk with you as you glide. So that's the only thing I would say for you, and then make sure that you're paying attention to your placement of your feet, mm -hmm. so you don't you don't want to go cross, cross, wide, you would cross, cross, cross. keep consistent with the crossing okay. if you do that. Mm -hmm. And for you, my dear, I would say the shoulders, don't mm -hmm. stiffen them so much. Mm -hmm. Relax them, in the, in, especially right here. Mm -hmm. Relax the elbows, making mm -hmm. sure that they're flowing properly. And then for you, I would do a little crossing over, right? And then watch our facial expressions mm -hmm. because we are kind of promoting. Mm -hmm. We are kind of... Um, so say you're wearing for a designer, you know, and they don't want you smiling, mm -hmm. then that's where like you have to be like, oh yeah, I gotta be serious. I'm mm -hmm. a serious model, so watch our facial expressions. Thank you, Alright, thank you so much. Yeah, let's see this. And then I would, I would start with two foot together, kind of put one in front of the other, like 10 and 2. Perfect. Yeah, and roll those shoulders back. Yeah, perfect. Slower. want to show up because you're wearing more like a streetwear um, you could put one hand on your, the jacket that would be cute too as well you know what I mean just to show up that you have different um, and then you could turn around when you turn around you show that there's a pocket on the pants mm -hmm. right stuff like that mm -hmm. yeah. okay. let me try Tina, just to kind of end this, could you show us how yes. it's actually done? How it's done, I got you. Alright, let's course. see it. You're pointing your toes mm -hmm. at all times. Mm -hmm. Even if you're wearing sneakers or you're wearing boots, mm -hmm. making sure that you're pointing your toes, it will give you that lunging forward and also that grace, um, I would say horse-like walking. You know how horse kind of like naturally mm -hmm. cross their legs? Um, that's when you point your toes and you make sure it's heel toe. Mm -hmm. It's not toe heel. Cause you don't want to walk like chomp, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like you're running. You want to walk with grace and mm -hmm. elegance. Mm -hmm. So. Why are you also controlling your eyes? Yeah, like it's just, blink? Um, just pick a spot. Honestly, I just pick somewhere over like mm -hmm. in front of me or where the end of the runway is, making sure that you're looking at the photographers because that's where we get all our pictures, you know what I mean? So pick something and just stay there. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That was awesome. And that concludes our CW challenge for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
you for watching. See you next time. Hello, this is Heisenberg. Hey there, this is G Forever. Yes, and we have Haya Toy News, Ghidorah and Godzilla. Yay. So stay Ooh. tuned for the, yeah, be sure and stay tuned for the Godzilla news. Yes, and my word, check this Ghidorah out by Haya Toys. Look at the wings and the details. So the official information posted on Haya's Facebook page says the wings have uh, 10 points of articulation. Mm. So I think these are articulated wings rather than like two different sets of wings. Wow, that's actually very cool. If oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so that's, yeah, so I guess these are the two different extremes of the poses. Like all the bones, like on top, all go to the same like point. Mm -hmm. I guess that point is a point of articulation. Interesting. Which is, yeah, which is like would be true for Ghidorah himself. Yeah, it, this is probably the first, uh, at least for a um, like a Godzilla figure to have this type of articulation. This is really awesome. Oh yeah, here's a close up on the head. Oh, that eye Ooh. looks really good. Yeah, the eye looks good. Yeah, oh, yeah, and again, color variation here too. Yeah, so the teeth sort of could like be a little sharper, but uh, you know, I think for for this scale, it's it's fine. Uh, the horns look good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the heads are going to be small enough. It's like uh, I think it's. Uh, oh yeah, I think it's good. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, also it's like the paint. Yeah, with the sh sh you know shading, with yes, the shadowing the here, yep. you can sort of like see the detail nicely. Yes. And then, but there's more. Look at this. Yes. So this and this is uh, looks like a a photo take po maybe posted by mistake uh, on Haya Toys website and then taken down really fast. Yeah, but uh, but a few people managed to save it before it got taken down. So yeah, it looks like we're getting a, a heat ray, a heat ray Godzilla. Yes. Yay! Yeah, there it is. Yeah, you can see the blue. Yeah, you can see the blue on the chest, blue on the spikes, and of course le the actual uh, heat ray. Yep. Yeah, and the, the the color on this one is definitely darker than the 2021 release. So, um, and if we, I believe this is most likely going to be a 2019. Uh, version because uh, there's actually going to be three different versions. And here's like straight on. Straight on, yeah. Yeah, more yeah. blue. Looks like some blue eyes. And blue eyes as well, yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then here, look, burning. Burning yeah, Godzilla, burning Godzilla 2019. Yep. And then, but yeah, but then here looks like the normal version, like a standard version of 2019. And and it looks like the neck, the neck looks a little different to me. Like uh, from it looks a little, it looks better. From, yes, uh, it does uh, look better. 2021. Yeah, it looks like they've made improvements on on the neck. Yep. Yeah, the Hyatt toys have been much more solid yep. and uh, well built than the SH Monster Arts. Yes. And for less and for less money. Yes, and the sculpt looks great. I think it actually looks more movie accurate compared to the Monster Arts. All right, this is Heisenberg and G Forever. Hoping you enjoy all the Hyatt toys, King Ghidorah 2019 and Godzilla 2019. We hope you enjoy the show. We will continue to introduce successful people from various fields as well as supporting young up and coming talents who are passionate and dedicated to advancing their careers in their industries. Don't forget to tune in. Until then, you have a wonderful week. See you next time. Let's see who our guest is on the next episode. Hi, I'm Joseph from Libera. Thank you for tuning in to Creative World. Bye. See you next week. Bye. Please subscribe to our YouTube thumbnail. Also, please check out our social media sites at CWTV Hollywood.